Chick Chick boy fist in the his house. Bring another great edition of Call of Duty for me, you, because that's what I do. A week in the review. I know Labor Day is tomorrow, so you probably got the day off, but it's Sunday, so I thought I'd do it anyway. A lot of news in the last week or so. And the reason I'm posting this video is because we, we go back and look at one shot weapons in all Call of Duty games. And um, I wanted to cover a couple things. First of all, I want to cover the YY situation and one shot weapons. And this is 2014. Who all this pertains to? You have to look at stuff, and developers don't look at this because obviously. If they even listen to the community, which they do not, because if they did, you wouldn't have um, Halo Jetpack game with Black Ops One kill streak point system. It wouldn't be a goulash collaboration thrown together, whatever, some monstrosity type game with all kinds of, you know, I don't even know. It's I, I don't even know how you could call it Call of Duty anymore. And everybody else, you know, you're just hating, you're just hating, you're just hating. I mean, listen, I've been I've been on this forum forever. And I've said the same thing about every single game that come out. Everybody gets really hype and excited and they get like I said, it's no fault of your of your own. What what it is is that you're a gamer and you're used to getting your high off a new game and you play it and then you think it's going to be that game that replaces that one game that you always used to really love but it never does and then you come back and you look back at this video that I'm posting today and you say you know what Fist was right he was right I fell for it again I fell for the hype I fell for trying to replace this game you know with my gaming addiction da 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 and you know, whatever you don't want to admit it that's fine you know that, that's okay but that's not the point that I'm trying to make here I'm the point that I'm trying to make is when I'm when you're watching this video on these one-shot weapons, it's a little bit deeper when you look at you know everybody's end game and what they're trying to get out of the developers to make this game for their own self self satis uh, self satisfaction. You know they they have an end game and their end game is YouTube videos, Twitch videos, da 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 da. They they don't care about the whole community as in a whole. And I know this is probably the end of the road for Call of Duty. It probably is and it's probably been it's been pilped, pillaged, raped, you know, taken and destroyed. The whole idea has been thrown in a trash can. And so, you know, I I understand. I'm 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 defending a game with thousands of holes in it and it's basically a broken down fragment of what it used to be or ever will be and but I wanted, I'm only pointing this out so you guys know this when you get the game and realize what is going on here. You know, if you're like that last pocket of holdout hardcore Call of Duty fans and you're like, no, Fist, this got to be, this has to be the game. You know, I want to explain something to you. Maybe you don't see it. You know, these one-shot weapons, these, these uh, all these... One shot weapons that are coming back in Call of Duty uh, Advanced Warfare and the non Call of Duty game that we're getting. I mean, this is all benefiting nobody but who makes these type of videos that, um, you know, take advantage of the game, you know, of, of the scripting of the game. You know, for example, when we talk about it, when I was talking about why, 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 you can either, you can either, cancel reload on the run or you know like what i exposed this a long time ago what would snipers would do is they'd run forward hit yy and it would cancel reload and in call of duty advanced warfare you have the ability to um like all the other call of duties where you know there's a some some call of duties have a time limit to where you know you have to re reload the bolt action and you know you have a bunch of retarded people who are saying that yeah i'm gonna say retarded but you're saying a lot of people their end game is to say well you know I, cancel reloading the y is an advantage for me because you know it's a skill gap you know once again i, I don't want to hear that skill gap term being used 
it's all the fact of, you know, where you're cutting out the majority of people who play this game. You're taking away the fan base by making a curve of, you make it a, the playing field and the, and the, and the, uh, the toughness of this game and the and the level of this game, you're making the curve like ridiculously high where you have to spend so much time in it, and then you you want to say that there's a another curve gap with the YY. I mean, this is all exploitation. You know, this is this is what I'm trying to explain to you, hardcore fans out there, or used to, or the people who are just buying this game and just understand it. These are exploits that these developers don't see. They're creating this huge curve where you have to learn this new game. And then what they say is all oh, the snipers and any other weapon that is a one-shot weapon or any other weapon that has to reload. Let's face it. Any weapon that's a one-shot kill, that is going to be the weapon that is taking is getting the most advantage out of the YY reload. So f- that argument about, oh, all weapons are can cancel reload. Yeah, but not all weapons can kill you in one shot. So the advantage is for the weapon that could kill you in one shot has the highest advantage. So going back to this whole thing about, you know, what people don't understand or see is that, you know, these cancel reloads only benefit people who do videos and Twitter and, and destroy the whole bell curve. You got a whole, you design this game out of people going off on a curve now. They have to learn how to jetpack left, right, and all that other stuff. And now you want to throw in this YY where it's easily, you're not, you say, oh, the snipers, it's going to take them a long time to reload. But then there's other people saying, well, I'm going to use the exploit to cancel the YY because that's what it is, an exploit, because the, the exploit gives the advantage to the most powerful weapon in the game. Now, mind you, if there was a perk put in place, then that sniper would have to spend a point in order to achieve that one shot kill. But since and hence you put the YY in there, they don't have to burn a perk for a reload or anything like that, cancel reload and and. They could put that perk into something else, which puts them on a higher tier in advantage of killing you, and it, and it ruins the whole tier of the weapons. And this is what the developers don't understand. These guys, these guys are scamming and setting up. And then last but not least is the fact that people can script one-shot weapons in call in any Call of Duty game, in any game that is on uh, Xbox One or PS4 now. And what that means is, is that now you can cheat. And cheating where you can program um, between you and your controller and your Xbox or whatever. I mean, there's ways to do it. I'm not going to sit there and tell everybody because, you know, I I don't want to ruin it for other gamers out there. But the fact is, is that you can ruin, I mean, this information I've had for years that you could sit there and you could could exploit this. and, And I'm sure this is what... The end result is for a lot of these people who make these videos because they're all about making money and fame and everything like that. So if they're doing it behind a keyboard or scripting or whatever it is, how are you even going to know? So not only are you at a disadvantage and it ruins the whole total bell curve of the game, but the fact is that they're probably cheating and they got a huge advantage over you. I mean, you get pop pop like that and just get to get you know, get smacked instantaneously, and you're like, how, did, how does that happen? And then somebody does a video, this is how I do it, da, 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 da. And it's all lies. You know, it's all, it's either it, either they mastered the glitch or the bug, or it's even gotten worse for where they're scripting. And some, and most people are going to be scripting. These days, it's 2014, most everybody cheats, and they're just looking for a way to, to do YouTube videos, because it's all about making money. It's not even about the video games. So my point is, there shouldn't be no one-shot weapons in the game. There should be a huge reload time on the snipers. And if the snipers wanted a quick reload, I would specifically, if they wanted to do the YY cancel, they would have to have a, a, a perk to spend that point to even get to doing that move. So that would be like, yo, that would be understandable because then it wouldn't make the, the, the they wouldn't have to, use their points for something else and be even more stronger than the rest of the curve of the of the game you know, i don't know how to put it but anyways those are the points you guys don't see it yet but um if you're not a real true call of duty player you wouldn't see it you just assume that this is what's going on and you would accept it but that's not the case if i play advanced warfare i will show you this down the road and hopefully 
you know, this can be fixed. I don't know how. It'd have to change the game completely. Until next time, it's your boy Fist. Peace. I'm out. Don't forget to check out Fist 2. Have a great Labor Day weekend. I'm outie.